This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Now, the coals are harder to get than the candy, so, you know. Oh, I've, I've got a lot in storage. Yeah, but I mean, now, because they were easier to get before, but now you have to go over there where the larvae are. You do realize that, like, I've been paying attention to that. So, the, so certain things they're doing are increasing the difficulty. You can't get the coals as easy as you did before, because the coals now require you to get all the way up here on this area. You know what I'm saying? And then go all the way down to the ash fields, and then you need to be sizzle resistant to get the coal. Have you noticed that change? Oh, well, yeah, but you can also farm a lot more than you, what you could before. I would get one every two or three days. Now I got like True, ten. True, but you got one day. safely, though. Like I said, you didn't need no, special no, equipment. No, no, what I had to fight to get to it wasn't necessarily safe. Really? The grill never really had a lot of stuff up there. Uh, when they fell down, you Usually. had to fight two infected ladybugs, a bunch of uh, infected gnats, and infected um, mites. Oh, there must have been something that one of the changes I missed then. Yeah, I remember it used to be like the grill was just sitting there, and you could just walk up, and there was some coal spilled out of the grill. But now, like, the area is pretty dangerous. I still think that uh, comparatively, it's more dangerous now, though. Like, I think I'd rather fight those infected enemies than the frigging ladybug larvas. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Plus, the oh, sizzle is really hot. Yes. Like, really hot. Like, compared to the sandbox, I would definitely say that the grill has a much more severe sizzle threshold. All right. So, alright, I'm, I'm in my room if you want to, like, uh, well, I'm downstairs right now, but you know what I mean. I Quinn am downstairs. The Q's downstairs, the freakest. But, uh, the cold sauna. So, did you, uh, have you tried, like, what does it look like? Have you actually held it? Does it actually glow? No, it's kind of ever burning. Yeah, I'll put it in your box. The problem is, I need to go somewhere, like I said, where spicy works. So I have to go find a spider or something. Because, like, everything near the grill, everything near the grill seems to be present. I don't know about the no, I'm pretty sure the ladybird, the ladybird lava definitely is vulnerable to mint instead of spicy. I think the ants don't like, uh, spicy, though. <sighs> it would be cool if it had a secret quality, though, where it actually did DLT, wouldn't it? That would be time. Like, actually set them on fire? Now that. That'd be the good stuff. And you never know, because it is a special weapon. It's a unique recipe that you had to find. I wonder if salting's ever going to be useful for anything. I'm curious if salty works on the um, uh, termites. Huh. That's an interesting concept. I need, I need to make a salty brood, uh, brood mother. Oh, that Should be. I think it's supposed to at least do a lot of flinching from our last four years of that question. Let me see how it swings. Don't want to do that. Whoa, it definitely seems to swing faster than the antlion sword. Even though it doesn't say so on its speed, it seems to. But maybe it's just that I'm not in the middle of a fight, it feels like it swings pretty quick. Or I've been wielding the mace so long. Man, yeah, I like the red hot. No, it sheds a bit of light. I can actually see the light of shining on the floor. It actually sheds a bit of light. I wonder how much it does in the darkness. Uh, do we have the supplies to level it up, or should we not be wasting our quartzite? We need quartzite to do that. And then I'm yep. not going to level it up just yet. We'll put it away for hmm. now. G grab what we have and make more. No, I'm not frivolous. I uh, never have been. Dude, it's like I, all they do is make a run to the black, uh, red anthill. 
But you at least haven't done it yet. All right, I grabbed some wood stems. Right, let's go ahead and re-equip the club for now, because I'm trying to level up Barbarian until I at least hit Barbarian 2, so I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I do bring back some Quartzite, though. Let's go ahead and dump that off. Uh, what's one of these boxes? This is for rocks. Oh, I see what you're talking about. You have definitely extended everything out quite a bit, haven't you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, I don't want to fuck with that. Motherfucker. <laughs> There's an infected wolf spider over here. Where? Over where the charcoal used to fall. And there used to be ladybugs. Oh, Come where on. all that infected are? Yeah. You must bugs. have went down the slide that goes near all the infected. Well, there's a bunch of wood stems over on the right, so I went over there first. I'm starting to think the infected wolf spider only comes out at night. I don't think we've ever seen it during the day. I don't think I've seen it during the day either. Yeah, it may be a night-only creature due to its horrific appearance and zombie-like nature. Because oh. I just noticed that, that now that it definitely did, like, I have not seen it during the daylight hours. Let me see where you are. Okay, I see where you are. I'm going to try to get to where you are. Oh, crap. Wait, I need to refill my canteen. Whew. That was close. I forgot. I am almost out of all the liquids. Don't even need to boil it. My wife thinks we're dorks. Hey. Yeah, but she loves you, though. I'm her dork. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we found a sword and a stone. It's right. It, it, it's 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 always going to elicit a response. So apparently that is a permanent problem with the um, zip line. We keep running into what looks like to be the water. I wonder if I could move the uh, the dew catcher to stop the um, the knockoff. Mm hmm. So the problem as long as I at least have a dandelion though. If it drops you all the way off, it is one not a good spot to drop. Not where you want to be. It's getting a bit on the late side. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the base since it's already 10 o'clock at night. Like, do I want to try to do anything else or are we good for now? I was going to try to make a lint run, but it's also dark in game and I do not want to fight the, the, uh, Dust mites in, in the dark. That I definitely don't want to do. I could log out near the dust mite area, though. That ain't going to be an issue. And then just... I don't know. We'll see. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. I'm coming over near the porch. The, the uh... The woodshed porch. I think it's cool that your zip lines cross each other, implying it's possible to hop from one zip line to the next. It is. I thought it would be. I mean, the icon's been popping up like you can do it. I've jumped in midair and grabbed zip lines before. That sounds unhealthy. That was pretty cool. I stand by my statement. <laughs> I see you're building a walkway from this one over to the uh, porch. Mm-hmm. Man, it is dark. This game knows it gets dark. Oh, did we ever try to go around the back of the woodshed? Oh, the woodshed goes past the fence. 
Weird. Yeah, we, That's an odd design. No, we went around it, but not into the back of it. You can't. At least not on this side. I'm looking and it goes past the wall. You'd have to try to... I don't know if you... you know, I think you said you can't go over the wall. You've already tried, I believe. It's a weird game mechanic. But no, it doesn't let you. I'm continually curious about that gas station next door. Is it just graphics or is it a potential future? But they're not even done with the biomes on here. Though. Like you said, I believe that next to this woodshed, that whole area got cleaned out because there is a future biome that they are planning. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go in the woodshed in the future. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, the woodshed and the house are ideas that I'm curious about, but I think they're going to be DLC level events. I don't expect the normal game is going to go into either. Because it's just too well set up for DLC to add, add, you know, to add. Like, that's just, like, perfect, you know, to be like, now you can enter this building, and, you know, and it actually is a new, you know, you know a map switch. That'd be kind of interesting. I agree, sir. I agree. Man, it just might be tripping. I really don't need any more. I have more than enough arrows and they're reusable. So now that I think about it, the only thing I really need to do is check the length. I don't have to farm, like, dust fights in particular. Now that I think about it, because, like, the splinter arrows are reusable. And in theory, they're the highest tier arrow. I don't know. Yeah, they're the tier 3 arrow. So I haven't noticed them doing, like I said, I haven't yet been able to peg if they're actually doing anything as interesting as bleed or not. Wow, those spiderlings do a lot more damage than they used to. I actually saw the hit. They actually hit harder than they used to. I'm almost sure of it. Wouldn't surprise me. They're always kind of weak, in my opinion. So you've already went up this bike as high as you can go, and you're fairly sure we've grabbed everything on it? On the bicycle? No. The red bike? Well, I'm not getting any icons, so... Oh, warrior ant. Now I started going up, but I fell off. Do you need black ant parts? Um, yeah, I need lots of them actually. Killed a bunch of black warrior ants. Hold on. What parts of them do you need in particular? Mandibles, but any of them will work. I need the, the head. Really? For you the, use uh, black ant head for something? Yeah, for the um, the black ant armor repair. It uses the head. 
and the parts. Not the mandibles and the parts, but the head. You know, the mandibles, I think, are the chest piece or the, the feet. Uh, they, you use all, all three pieces, which is kind of weird because the red ant doesn't necessarily use the mandibles, I don't think. What am I doing? There's grass over here. So once I build this zip line, I'm going to build some over to the termite area and back and forth as well. Looking good on top Getting on And I'm going to shoot I am not healthy enough to be really trying to mess with these mics. Oh good, I have hill bosses. Let's see. I didn't realize I had some on me. Must have been in the bag. Alright, going for lint. <laughs> Save some fish for me. It's always weird to be like, I'm running, go get some lint. <laughs> I don't even know what we need it for, but I think it's for one of the new armor recipes or something, isn't it? What, the, uh, the lint? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember it. I haven't taken that deep of a dive into it yet. I'm still kind of trying to absorb all the new game changes. Alright, I have gathered the lint. Oh, crap, one more. I'm about to lie. There, now I have all the lint. And my goodness, the number of dust mites. Run away! Yeah, you ain't lying, though. There's a lot of infected stuff under the porch of the woodshed. Like, I can see it through the cracks. Oh, that's a lot of black ants. That's a lot of black ants. That is probably too many black ants. Okay, wow, that splinter arrow worked on the ant. Like, he wasn't having a good time. He did not have a good time at all. <laughs> all right. The return zip line is about to be constructed, and then we'll see if my lineup actually works. Oh, did we ever get the uh, raw science that was in that pot? No, the two, the double stack, no. Oh, the war, wow, the warrior ants killed the mites really fast. Why the heck did they do so much damage to the dust mites? Now I want my, uh, bug slaves. That just makes me more curious about getting my bug slaves. I'm like, hmm? The ants work very good on the mites. Only the warrior ants attack them, unfortunately, but still. Alright, so we got five pieces of lint. No, we got oh. 27 pieces of lint. This is pretty fast. Okay, this uh, can actually work. Oh, you got one of your uh, builds going? Yeah. Alright. Good to hear, brother. That's how you do it. I think I'm going to scale the pot and get that rock science. Assuming I don't get ant murdered. That, that's a big assu assumption, by the way. The number of black ants in this area is alarmingly... <laughs> Let's just say there's a bunch. So. Yeah, but you can't get up on these uh, garden shears, can you, sucker? So now I need to make zip lines over to the termite area and back. I don't think I need anything over for the um, charcoal. That's pretty easy to get to from where we're uh, kind of stationed up. Yeah, I don't think that's a necessity. I think you're good for getting to that. I think you're right. 
that's pretty accessible. Oh boy, time to scale the leaves. One thing I've definitely got down is the scaling. <coughs> Let's get to them hard to reach spots. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Oh, that was a dirty little trick there now. Why you jump like that, bro? Don't do me like that. Come on, Smalls. We got to have these ups. All right, this is the tricky part where you got to find out where to go from here. Because that ain't enough height. That is nowhere near enough height. Yeah, here it is. You gotta go around. That's the trick. You gotta go here. Jump there. Uh huh. Nice and clean. Man, we are veteran of these platformers. We are veteran of these platformers. Ain't with butt axe. Old school Dave Nintendo heads. Game? Yeah. Man, I was just talking about being old school Nintendo heads. You know uh, what I'm like, saying? Like the days of Mega Man. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Castlevania was somehow was screwed pretty... that up and did not get enough ups. Yeah, Castlevania was a pretty good platformer, but, but Mega Man had some insane platforming on on its own. Mega Man? Oh yeah, oh now Mega Man's at high speed. Yeah, that's getting back into like the ninja guy and stuff too, yeah. Where just plain tricky platforming. Timing like you wouldn't believe required. Don't get me wrong, they got stuff nowadays like uh, Super Meat Boy, some of the others. I want to be the man. Super uh, Meat Boy. <laughs> trust me, a very interesting jumper. They they got their contenders. Like, games like that reminded me of how much that, uh, I don't want to go back to those days. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I remember games this hard. Yeah, platformers at nightmare fuel stages, yeah. Yeah, there's a reason that they stopped making those back then. <laughs> they come back now. There's a reason that, like, games kind of got a little more chill. Because back then, man, there were games that you just playing couldn't beat. Like, you know, some people like Battle Toads. never beat those games. Huh? Like Battletoads. Oh, Battletoads. There are people that have beaten Battletoads, but like you said, it's not nearly as many people as owned Battletoads. Let's put it like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people own that game and did not get their money's worth out of it. <laughs> I ain't never beat Battletoads. You are not alone. I tried, I tried, and I tried, but those, those speeder bikes, man. Okay, I just found out something that makes me feel silly after all of that. You can actually climb the cactus. You know the cactus with the orange flower on it? <laughs> it doesn't do damage. You can get up on the seal by just climbing the cactus. Much really? quicker, much easier. <laughs> yeah, like way simpler, like <clears throat> vastly so. All right, let's grab this raw science. Well, I am tempted to get on that wood pile from way up there, but we don't worry about it. Let's get this. Blood X likes his science. How you like that big thousand, huh? That's pretty tight. Now, can I use this cactus to get on top of that piece of wood? Nah. Ain't enough, ain't enough height. Man, those ants love that apple core. They are all over that thing. Looking good all the time. Is there any more room in those mom jeans? Can I get back up here from here? Ah, uh, no, I couldn't. Alright. The shortcut failed. Alright, I'm gonna head back to base, drop off your spider parts or ant parts or whatever, and then. Haul it. I ain't gonna be up all night on this. Hmm. Though at some point we do need to make another termite run because we need the termite heads for the axe. 
to redo the axes. Like my axe is already pretty worn. I don't know about yours. Do you notice there's Mine wind, got some there's wind, wind clumps over here by the uh, by the, uh, the the glove? Really? Yeah. Oh, grab them. Well, yeah. There's six pieces so far. Nice. Found two clumps. I don't know if there's any more or not. Like I got like a total of twenty-seven off of the mat because the lip like was uh, it has a lot of clumps. But still, any easier place to get them without fighting? Mm. Oh, you found garden. the abandoned garden mm. glove. Yeah. Why did it just now actually show up? I mean, I've been to the glove. Because I didn't get credit a, last time. Well, there was there was an update that came out today, and I may have added that in. All right, I'm gonna try to get to the glove and make sure I got it too, because it says you found it, but I don't know if it counted me as well. It popped up on my screen, but it said that Blood Axe found it, which leaves me wondering if I got credit or not for Explorer, because I'm still on Explorer level two, man. I never did get three. Termite down here. How did you get stuck down here? You found a termite near the glove? That's no, no, unexpected. No, My mom gene seemed to have stopped activating. I haven't seen a spiderling in a while. Weird. I've been in a couple of fights, but the spider hasn't popped up. Has it gotten thrown off because I was using archery for a while? That I can't say. Okay, there they go. Weirdly enough, now they're back. I guess they heard me. There's some status effect that the black ants cause. Do you know what it is? It's gonna slow down. Some stamina really? slow down. Oh shit. Thinking I was heading that way. You're not dead already, are you? No, but my friend's back. Which one? Black ox beetle. Rocks. I know he's a jackass. Mm. All right, man. You ain't gotta talk about me like that. <gasps> oh god! Hey, you said you got straight up wrecked. I got one shot. <laughs> it said you got wrecked. That's all I meant. It said. It said. It just popped up on my screen. Blood X got wrecked. It's like, oh wow. A little less squishy now. Whoa! I found something new. Don't even need I'm the sorry. Board. I oh crap. Oh god, where are you at? How much bleed out time do you have? Oh, I respawn, man. I found something new, Blood X. You need to get over to the porch and then drop down. Go along the edge of the porch. Drop down here. I found a gun. Hmm. Oh my god, is that a real gun? Is that a bullet? No, it's not. It's a toy gun. I found a toy gun. Under the porch here. In this area. Oh, and a stink beetle. Whoa, is that an infected stink bug? I've never seen one. I don't know. It's just really, really green. I don't remember stink bugs being green. Do you? Yeah. I thought they, they were brown. Do they have swirly eyes? Pink swirly eyes? I don't know, it just despawned and disappeared, which is really creepy. Yeah, head to where I am. There is literally like a uh, area where you drop off the edge of the porch, but just barely you land on a bag, and under here is a toy gun. I figured it's a special location if you want to add to your, like, you know, an explorer.
There also is, is that fungi? What is that on the wall? Is that the fungus? No, that's the glow, the little glow things. There's also a bunch of clovers at the base of the gun. I wonder if it's possible to trigger this gun and get something. I'm very curious, but I don't want to explore it without you. You coming? I don't know if you can go oh, under the bag to get to this area. It might be possible, but I dropped off the porch on top of the bag, so I'm on top of it. Huh. Man, what a random luck. I just happened to be walking and looked at the edge and said, there's something under the edge of this porch. It was literally just a random chance that I have to be walking close enough to the edge to see it, you know? Oh, I do see it. Yeah, like I said, I'm like, what's this? Surprised not a milk yeah. bowl in here. Yeah, you do have to drop down because I'm looking. It doesn't look like you can get around the edge of the bag. It's not immediately. Uh, no, there isn't. You check and do what you try to do. Check the barrel. <laughs> oh, here comes the stink bug. I don't have a gas mask. Buster cap. It's gun. the bus Buster cap gun. It was a unique location. I don't have a gas mask. I don't know if I can beat this guy. No. Hold on. Let me get me a uh, oh, my bow ready. There. Oh, crap. You don't have any gear. Yeah, you did quit. All right. Hold on. I got him. Wow. What mirror does he seem bigger than usual? Oh, my God. He's, it's, oh it's no, a, it's it, a green shield bug. It is not a stink bug. It is a boss bug. It has, it has purple health. It's a boss bug. Oh wow, this bow is working though. I'm about to die from the goddamn gas. Yeah, it is aggro on you for some reason, dude. It is not willing to unaggro on you. But I'm tearing it up. I don't know if you can see its health, but it is hurt. Dang it. It is moving, though. It is on your butt. And it is leaving a trail of poison. Don't worry, I've almost got it. I got it. Or did you kill it? Was that you or me? That yeah, was me. Super yeah, well, stink. I softened it up, man. Ah. Hey, those those arrows worked really good on it. What did you get? Super stink gas sack. It's a new item. Oh, we gotta ex ooh, we gotta examine that. I gotta get all these arrows back, dude. That splinter worked really well on that that dude though. Did you see it tearing his health up? I was trying to stay alive. <laughs> you didn't notice though when you turned around, he was already down to only one bar of health. I noticed I was smacking him with my uh, my mint mace and running for my life. That's what I noticed. <laughs> All right, well, the bow seems to work, at least on that enemy. That enemy does not like being pierced by the arrows. Now, can I trigger this gun by hitting the handle? Hitting the trigger. Ah, I was hoping I could hit the trigger and make the make the cap gun go off. I'm looking for a milk bowler in here. What, you're getting a milk bowler on your scab? No, I'm just looking to see if I can get one to, to, to bleep the trigger. Uh, and if I use the hammer, can I, can I hammer it? Come on. I want to detonate the cap gun. Come on. Arrgh. I'm not Darn seeing you. anything in here. How dare they tease me? Well, it was a boss fight. That was the special thing. Yeah. It was clearly the boss. Dude, that was a boss. He had the boss health bar. He had the purple. So that was a, or at least a unique, that is a unique slash boss enemy. Respawnable, I'd imagine. Oh, hey, something's burrowing around in here now. Um, but I okay. bet it's a larva. Well, I'm going to risk it and dig it up. If it's a larva, I'll kill it. Come here. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's a grub. Oh, look at that. Unexpected. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Grub goop, grub hide, and raw grub meat. I don't think we need the goop or the hide, but I can I can uh dry the uh whatchamajigger, right? I can put it on to make some food out of it. I'd like to head back, my inventory's full. And I want you to scan that um that that I wanna see if there's another set of recipes. Is there a new weapon, new arrow? What do you make with an advanced stink? 
Like, can we make a know. super stink arrow? Because it used to be that you could use those to make arrows. I've been I've been thinking that the gas was weak. Remember the last time I used it, the gas seemed kind of light. I complained about it. Maybe there's now a super stink uh, arrow. Either that or super gas mask. Or something else huh. you can't think of. Don't know why you need an upgraded gas mask, though they do burn out a little faster than I care for. Because the uh, the rotten food degrades it, versus the, the regular clouds don't. So if they would be resistant mm, to this whole food. I think you're heading the wrong way if you want to scan that item you got. Or are you trying to I'm, go get your backpack back? I'm getting my gear, man. All right, I'll oh. come with you. God damn it. Holy crap, how'd you get down? I got, um, there's two larvae. I was fighting, <laughs> fighting him with red, red ant armor. That was risco. Oh crap! Almost fell. Whew! That would have messed up my rescue attempt, wouldn't it? Oh crap! You little jukey son of a gun! Get parried. Oh crap! Ow! Ow! Uh. I can't uh. catch my breath. Oh crap! I forgot. You're bleeding out fast. Hold on. Hold on. There. 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 Don't worry, I got you back, bro. <laughs> nice. Cue to the rescue, man. Thank you. Back in the game. My sliver Let's of health. give me some in. gloop. Oh crap! They can't give me gloop. My bag is full. That's not good. For my for previous the, statement. Going for the backpack. Okay, I did. I got a little bit of bug gloop. I got six. I'm up to six bug gloop. But I nearly need to drop this stuff off. We gotta head back after we get your bag. Mm-hmm. Where'd it go? Oh, so that's what it must have been. I must have already got the uh, glove. That's why it ain't popping up. All right. I did walk across this glove already. The answer to the question of where your bag went is one of the few things I cannot answer. No, so there is. Oh, the gum on the tire is back. I can stack it with the gum I already have, so I can get that gum. All right, I'm going to go mm -hmm. hit the tire for the gum. Where's my fucking backpack? You didn't Dude. reset it, did you? No. Whoa, is that a scarab? What is that? God, it's fast. Holy crap, dude. I saw something green that I thought was a dust mite, but it ran from me at super high speeds. Like, oh my god, is it fast. That might have been a scarab. Shit, 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 motherfucker. Goddamn son of a bitch. What? What's wrong now? Well, I found my oh, backpack. there's a black rhino. There's a black rhino. I see. It can't get to me, though. Alright, I think I lured it off. I think it's trying to come out of the ditch to find me right now. Because it looks like it ran off toward the edge, trying to find a way to get up the ditch. See if I can get this gum before it finds me. <laughs> Well, the good news is it left you alone. It, like, detected me above it because I was about to start shooting, but before I could even start, it ran off towards the uh, end of the ditch, which I know is the way up. I'm thinking it was trying to pass its way to me. Eat the mushroom. Eat the mushroom. That's right. <sighs> See. Mm -hmm. that piece scared the hell out of me dude what was that dude it was over here near the tire area there's a little green bug but it was not an aphid I know it wasn't an aphid especially because it didn't do the leap it just but then it moved so fast it is the fastest thing I've ever seen move in this game I promise it is literally the fastest thing I've ever seen I there's raw science near this tire it must be in that basket I bet you it is I Bet you. Yeah, because when I move away from the bike, it disappears. It's got to be in the basket. Closer I get to being under oh the basket, that's when I get the raw science. You're right, dude. I bet you the raw science is in the basket. I'm now confident it's in the basket. Are you kidding me? Not another one. Oh. I need some help. I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. What got you? A larva or a, a beetle? Don't kill yourself. I'm heading that way. No, what am I expecting? It's a black ox beetle. Up top? Uh, Man, he, they're usually in a ditch. Well, he's walking down in the valley now. But he stopped. 
Hold on. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go for it. Dang it. I ain't never skirt. No, he's walking. Dang, you're ways off. Yeah, but he may be walking away. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, jeez, you're bleeding out fast. All right, you said he walked away, so I'm gonna risk it. It's not so bad, Pete. I got you. Yo, to the rescue. You're good at that. I'm back. I try. Oh crap! Something detected me. Something's coming. Where is it oh. at? I don't know. Something threatened. No, just haul it see back it. to the zip line. Oh, it's, it's just good. a larva. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. Let's keep going. Just yeah, I really want to go to that acid. It's all good, man. We made it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is why you roll with a friend. Imagine how hard this game is on your own, though. I mean, one I bad luck encounter, and you know, it's a headache. Well, that's when you have a lot of, a lot of save files, and you, and you load. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other trick is you can always set yourself a quick way to and back from the restart area so you can just send your bag there if you have to. Huh, I'm getting a raw science around the charcoal bag. Did we miss anything over here? Oh no, on it's top on top of, the, of that lamp. Top yeah. of the lamp. You get to enjoy the zip line I built. <laughs> I'm a coming. Ooh, wait, hold up. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and uh I'm gonna pick this water up here. This will be refilled by the time we come all the way back over here. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I, uh, it comes from Gears. Playing a lot of Gears has given me a... Uh... Whoa! Why is there a gap in your zip line? There's not. On my screen, there's a huge gap. Keep going up. I fell through the gap. You're kidding. Something happened. A piece of your zip line must have disappeared, buddy. Hmm. I fell. There was a when I went up the ramp to zip line back. There was a massive gap and section missing. And when I tried to walk up it, I fell through. That's messed up. Did the B break it? No, that was riding it. I know. I'm going up again. No, no, it is definitely gone. Yeah, there is no section here. There is a open section. Dude, I don't know if it? I can. Uh, it is a upward angle. I'm gonna try. No, it's impossible to make that jump. How bizarre. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know if it's not rendering in my game or if it got broken by something. But when you come back, you need to check it. There is a huge gap in the ramp almost near the top. I was so close to being able to use your new zip line. That is weird. I really hope that it's just my game being funky and something didn't break your freaking uh, walkway you just built. There was a bee flying around, but it shouldn't have been aggro on you, and they only break stuff when they're aggressive, right? Yeah. That is so bizarre. All right. Well, it, this is a beta, so... Well, if that, yeah, but that needs to be reported if that's an issue, because you spent a lot of work on that ramp, man. And, like, I'm going up behind you. I know you went down it because I was behind you. Super gas arrows. <laughs> Called it. Anything else or just that? That's just it. That could be useful in some of those clustered areas. So what do you need to make the super gas arrows? Uh, probably uh, needles and then... Uh... I'm thinking regular gas arrows plus these. Really? Oh no, that splinter could be the case. splinter arrows with the stink bug sacks. Oh, okay. I got plenty of those. I'm not gonna try it out just yet. We only get one, didn't we? How many sink we only have one sack, I think? You got two got two. How many arrows does it make? Five or ten? It makes um three. Oh, okay. Then we'll save that for a special occasion when we know we got a large scale battle. Like a really clustered area. It can be useful for clearing out the mat, but honestly, I was able to clean up the land on the mat. The dust mites aren't that bad if you don't stop, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, if you run in, grab the lint, and leave, you're fine. They, 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 it's actually just a matter of managing your stamina. All right, I'm back at the base. This seems like a good spot to chill. Let's pop a bandage. A lot of fun, though. I'm glad I stuck around. If I'd have left earlier, though, man, getting that backpack would have been a mofo, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put your black ant parts in your case. Where are we putting bug goop? 
Uh, there, it's um over here by the. Are you down here with me? So it's I'm right here right with, the, with the green splotch right here that I'm standing on. All right, here's another six that puts us up to eighteen. Nice. Uh, I've also got lint. Oh well, we were just spinning the lint. I think. Well, right now we yeah, were just spinning the heck out of lint. But you'll see, there's a lint box over there, right across from the um, grinders. I mean the um, the spinning wheels. Gotcha. This little, this little uh, gray asterisk star right here. I got you, man. Yeah, the lint is usually. I noticed that the this stuff's usually right across. Hmm. There we I go. Have... Everything's spinning up. Oh, that's that. I had take six. Now I only have three, but uh, you're you're spinning it. Okay. Like what the hell? I mean, there's no use for it in its raw form, right? Well, no. I just I I thought it was glitching because it was disappearing. So where are you putting the actual rope then? I see the lint itself and the silk, but I don't see where you put the rope. The white bone right here where I'm standing. So you put it over there. Okay. Let's drop off the silk I just picked up. All right. Have we put a mint box down here, or are we still only putting that up in the bedroom? It's over here. It's right here with the, the white sword. I see. Excellent. All right, gum goes upstairs. Uh, let's see. Uh, your ant parts go in the black ant box, which is around mm. here. All right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Did I click on a, Why am I getting a mosquito? That's a mosquito box? That really looks like an ant to me. All right. The black ant box is right ah, here. There it is. I see it. More, 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 more of just me being like that box look different. All right. Black ant parts are in there. I'm going to carry this spider mandible on me, and I'm going to grab a, a leather so I can repair my hat in the field. Because that seems like it's going to be a, a thing. All right. I need to put this on the drying rack. Alright, last thing to do is to drop off the gum and pick up a berry leather. Where do you have the berry leather at? There you go. Let's carry a couple. Might as well carry a few pieces since... I get plenty in there. That way if I get... Because every time I kill a spider and get spider man, I'll get what I need to repair. Because luckily the brood mother is spider fangs and berry leather, that's it. That's not a lot to have to carry to repair my helmet, you know? Oh, yeah. Thankfully, that's not too harsh. So I said, oh yeah. Alright, I'm hitting you up with the save, so hopefully we won't lose anything. Oh my god, my, my wife's going to divorce me. I've played this game what? 801 days. Well, probably the first secret to not getting in trouble is don't immediately admit to how much you played the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, game time is 801 days. Oh. Alright, there we go. Oh, we got a lot of gum. We're doing good on gum, that's for sure. Hey, did you repair your axe yet? Do we have enough parts to repair our axe? Uh, oh, yeah, it only takes one termite chomper. It's mainly the quartzite that's getting hit up. Did you go ahead and cook up some more quartzite globs? No, I need to go get the quartzite. It's over at the, at the red end. There's, 30, there's 32 in there after I brought some back. And, I mean, I'll do quartzite runs next time around, too. The goose up. I had a gas mask the whole time. I guess I just didn't... I guess I just felt froggy. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I can't even repair my mace. We need, we need, we're out of spicy globs and, or am I just not standing so in the right spot? Hold on. We'll, we'll need to make a run to the um, sandbox and the black ant hill to get those resources. Yeah, well, also the termite area, like uh, in the ditch. Well, if we can combine the quartzite run with the ox. Do we have enough to make that, by the way? Or we still not no. got the stupid horn? No, well, we don't. We need the. Um... Let's see what we need for the roly poly. I've got. No, I thought you were trying to build the. Uh, I thought there was an armor for the ox thing. Um... Oh no, it's the hammer. It's the tier three hammer. Yeah, we haven't made the tier three hammer yet. Yeah, because we don't have the. Um, there's one piece that we're missing. 
I mean, we haven't the found Black a resource Horn. that needs it, but we know it's in the future. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, we know, we know that there's a Black Ox Horn out there. We just haven't found it yet. So once we get that, and we need two of those, 12 of the parts, we have five. And the Poopa Leathers, you know, we got 10, and we only need two. Plus, to be honest, the Black Ox Hammer has a surprising amount of stun for a tool. Kind of like the old... Um, Mint Club is supposed to be a Well, a the reason it's catching my eye is with its really high stun and damage is that there's a big factor to that. And that factor is, that's a one-handed weapon. That's a one-handed weapon with probably the highest damage and stun I've seen of any one-handed weapon in the game. Like, that is a surprisingly decent hammer. Like, when you look at its uh, damage and stun for a one-handed weapon... Now it's slow as all heck get out, but let's be honest, so are the clubs. But like it's a, but I mean, even then it says it's that slow. But one-handed weapons tend to be pretty quick. But mainly it's the fact that it's a really good one-handed weapon, because like that means that it might be a decent weapon to use with a shield. You feel me? Well, it's, it's the same damage as the antlion sword, and yeah, you could build a black ant shield to go with it. Well, it's the same damage, but it's also got a really good stun, and yeah, shield. Because you used to be a sword and board. I mean, you used to use, I think, uh, a shield, didn't you? Yeah, I, I tinkered with it for a while. Between that and the rapier, uh, the, the needle nose rapier. Plus, the roly-poly armor specifically gives you a stun block, or block stun, which I think means you, how much stun you do when you block stuff. Could be an interesting combination of the hammer, the shield, and the roly-poly armor for a really defensive stun build. Maybe. You know, one, just something two, that, that popped three, in my head. One, two, three, four and a half blocks. I still have not figured out what the heck really happens from salt. Like, I'm still thinking that we're missing something on that salt. Now, I think it's everybody's missing it. Like, because they could keep talking about how painful it is. I do notice that when you're swinging at bugs, sometimes your hits will rock them back. Not even stun them, but kind of like interrupt them. I wonder if salt makes you have a much higher interrupt factor, in which case, salting up a weapon may allow you to hit an enemy and they can't interrupt you. That could be nasty with a fast weapon or a one-handed weapon so that they don't get a chance to swing back, you know? Do I have a, I have a salt maze if you want to try that. I've been thinking about it, but I don't want to level it up until we restock our supplies. Like I said, I'm miserly. You know, you're 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 studious. I'm miserly. I like I I burn Dude, supplies with very. I've got very... a level. I got a level seven salty morning star. Huh. In, in storage. Uh. You want it? Yeah, sure. I'll test it out. I might as well. Sure, I'll give it a test run. We'll see what it's about and find out if it really does interrupt more. In which case, I might have to salty up myself a great uh, a great brood mace. You know what I mean? I'm putting that in the shield in your um, basket. Oh, never thought about running it with a shield, but I guess you're right. That would make sense. Don't even need to boil it. Better than starving, I think. All right, well, I'm gonna have to edit these videos tomorrow. You got it, man. Use on top of it. Dude, I'm Good loving look. these splinter arrows, man. They are nice. I am a fan. <laughs> An absolute fan. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!